Ross, a, a 2-1 defeat against Buxton. Um, that one's got a really sour taste to it because the lads, in, in my opinion, uh, deserved a lot more from that. What, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I've just, I've just spoke to the radio. I'm, I'm fuming with it, really. Um, we need decisions to go for you. Uh, we've worked our absolute socks off to get something out of this game. We played some really good football and I thought we were the better team for large periods. But we had to respect Buxton. They're a good footballing team as well. But we knew what we had to do. Um, the boys stuck to their task. We've given away two poor goals, really. First half, Jalen's not covered around the channel, which we spoke about in training. Um, and the second one comes from just clear lines, Jaden. Um, don't dribble, don't take a risk there. Clearly, lines li and fight to live another, well, live to whatever fight another day. But um, yeah, just a few with the decision, really, because the boys work so hard to um, get back into things. Um, but it is what it is. We're talking at quarter past five, so it's still really raw, especially after almost 10 minutes of, of, of stoppage time. The, the decision you're talking about is, is the Josh Parker non-goal, I, I suppose. Um, we'll have to watch it back, uh, but there were indications that it was it was onside. If it did go in, it was would, it would have been a really good point on the road. I suppose the, the the task for you now as a manager is to reinforce that into the lads that perhaps we've not got any points today, but the performance warrants that. Yeah, I think the, I think officials probably need some feedback as well. Um, today was completely different to the African game. We played a lot of football, which I'm pleased and we've gone from playing 46 minutes to actually having a game of football today. So on that front, I'm, I'm delighted. Um, both teams are trying to play good football. Bucks have played some really good football as well, so we have to mention that. Um, and we had to really go to battle today in terms of the football side of things, the concentration. Um, but yeah, I, I, think, I think what it does is it shows that the boys can keep on going, but we needed that reward today to keep us going again. Um, we deserved the reward, we were knocking on the door. We've been told by several people, even the cameraman, that it's all on side. Um, so the referee might have seen something that no one's really seen. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just yeah, we do want some answers really because we are putting our bodies on the line. We're running through walls for each other. Um, so to get a goal chalked off, um, I haven't personally seen it yet, but we've had a lot of feedback saying it's all. It's a it's a good point you, you'd say about the players that have been running through walls. They did that in, in really difficult conditions um, today. Um, is that positive going forward? I mean, I mean. <laughs> It was a really tight game, but the players gave everything out there. It was a tight game. Um, it was actually really enjoyable. Sort of completely different to sort of the African game where it's stop start, a lot of time wasting. This game was free flowing. Both teams trying to attack, trying to keep the ball, um, trying to hold possession. So it was really, really, I really enjoyed it. Um, I, I actually think a draw would have been fair. Um, but you know, it is what it is. We need to pick ourselves up and go again. But the boys need to understand that we've come to a strong boxing team, putting a real good performance. Everyone's run their socks off. Um, our data would be through the roof in terms of levels of fitness and running. And the boys need to, to know that they are putting a shift in. Um, sometimes you just need that little bit of luck to then kick us on again because uh, we've got another test on Tuesday night to get through. Yeah, we've got Chester, Chester coming up, but you can't be too disheartened going into that. You know, is, is that one where if we you know, prepare and perform like we have done this week and, and in the game against Buxton that will have a good chance of taking something away from another very, very good team. Yeah, 100% they're a good team. They're all good teams in this league, but especially the Buxton and Chester, you know, two difficult games and two away games. But I, I wouldn't have really seen our boys looking leggy at all today. Uh, the boys at Attitude were first class. Um, we're covering great distances. There was real togetherness in what we were doing. Uh, we need to make sure we address the goals though because they're really poor on our part as we spoke about. Um, and it w wasn't really a, a team um, a team thing, it was more just an individual sort of basic thing, so it was something we can address quite quickly. Um, but again, chess is going to be a different challenge. Um, we've got to get back, recover, rest up and, and go again because you know, the boy, I don't want the boys to be deflated after that because I thought we were you know, pretty, pretty good today. Um, so here's what it is, we'll have a chat with the officials, see what their, their thoughts were on it. Um, we'd like honest feedback. But um, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But if they're wrong, no, they've got to admit that as well. What are your thoughts on um, just kind of the mood in the changing room? I mean, it's hard to put a finger Frustration. on it. Frustration. They are frustrated because they knew the game was there for, the, for them. Um, I think if that second goal, if that equaliser goes in, we we're on the front foot to go and try and win the game. That's what they were feeling. They could smell it. And I, and we, we, I was saying to the boys, like, smell it. You know, smell the fear, smell danger, smell when they're under pressure. We could smell there's another goal in the game. We get that equaliser, we could go again. Uh, our levels just go up again. So I think we get a lot fitter as games go on. We become a stronger team. Um, that bit of reward back post, Josh Parker goes in, the game's completely different. So it didn't go in, it wasn't a goal, it got chalked off. Uh, we have to go again, pick ourselves up. But the boys are frustrated because we know we're, we're nearly there. 
Um, but we've got to turn these really good performances into wins. And on the road, we've been really good, so we look to replicate that Tuesday as well. A bit of housekeeping. Um, Sochi has an only out in, in the warm up. Obviously, we got the international lads back now, but uh, no Corey Andrews today. What, what's, what's it like on the injury front? I mean, we've still got players to come back to yeah. action as well. Uh, yeah, uh, Cole's got a little bit of a, a, a tweaked hammy, but he'll be back in a few weeks. Uh, Cheese will turn him from a hamstring, uh, need to get him fitter, so he's going to do some fitness work to get him back in. Because I think you can visibly see from the side the boys on the pitch are putting in a massive shift. You've got to cover the distance, we've got our own metrics that boys need to be hitting. Um, and we work with the boys who need that extra top up. Uh, a lot of the boys at the end of the game, they have to be topped up after the game. Um, but fitness and energy and work rate is an absolute must. So we need to make sure everyone's at the, the level to actually perform. Because um, technically they're really good players, but the fitness comes first. And um, yeah, so on that front, you know, the injuries are getting a lot better. Corey was sick, so he should be totally fine by tomorrow, Monday. Um, and we go into Chester, you know, full of confidence and a, and a healthy squad. So um, yeah, no excuses to go from today and Tuesday and be, and be leggy. The boys have got to get on the bus, recover and go again. Well, Ross, I know that one will stink. So thank you very much for your time. Cheers.